This military report is brought to you by Coleman University. Upwards of 900 Marines said goodbye to loved ones at Camp Pendleton today, leaving for a six-month deployment, but not to Afghanistan. They're headed for the Northern Territory of Australia. And 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence explains why even more Marines will be headed there in the near future. Serial numbers recorded. Bags toted, weighed and checked and loaded for shipment. And here's where 1st Battalion, 5th Marines are headed. This is an earlier arrival of a smaller number of Marines to Darwin, Australia, part of President Obama's strategy of rebalancing forces to the Asia Pacific region. You guys can show us some, some things you guys do. We'll show you we do it and we can all learn something today. And that's the goal for these Marines from Camp Pendleton, even if it means sharing this odd looking thing. We'll use it to go on runs and stuff. Like we'll hold it while we run, it's just, uh... The, the symbol for our platoon. This deployment is the largest by far to go to the region and won't be the last. This is technically uh, part two of a four uh, part process to build up to a full MAGTAF of about 2,400 Marines and sailors. MAGTAF is Marine Air Ground Task Force, so four heavy lift CH-53 helicopters like these are also part of the deployment. For some, the deployment is also a chance to see the world. Well, growing up in Anaheim, went to Anaheim High School, moved around, then get stationed 30 minutes away from home. It's not really, not really getting out. Last May, the battalion returned from another six-month deployment to Okinawa. Jessica Vieira's husband was on it. It was really difficult. He missed the birth. He missed everything. He called me right after he was born. I mean, he just missed everything. He may miss the second one, too. She's due about the same time that Marines will rotate home. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.